10 quick tips to stop being a bitch. Let's face it, life is tough, and so are you. But sometimes, being too tough on others can push people away. You don't want to be that person who's constantly remembered for their rude remarks or bad attitude. So, how do you stop being a bitch and start becoming someone people genuinely want to be around? This article will guide you through 10 practical and transformative tips to help you step back, reassess your behavior, and become a kinder, more approachable version of yourself. Buckle up. It's time to turn the tide and become the best version of yourself. 1. Fight Anxiety One of the root causes of bitchy behavior is anxiety. It can make you feel threatened by others' achievements, appearances, or even their mere presence. To compensate, you might say or do things to inflate your ego, which often leads to hurting others. Here's how to counter this. Hold your tongue. Take a moment to breathe and remind yourself that it's okay not to be perfect. Everyone has insecurities and flaws, including you. Accept that and focus on controlling the urge to lash out. A little self-awareness goes a long way in breaking the cycle. 2. Divert your attention. Sometimes, bitchy behavior stems from deeper emotional issues like insecurity, frustration, or low self-esteem. When you feel the urge to lash out, redirect your focus to something positive. Pick up a hobby painting, singing, journaling, or even just listening to music. Engaging in activities you love can immediately shift your emotional state and help you channel your energy into something productive instead of destructive. 3. Learn to say thanks and plea. Politeness is underrated but incredibly powerful. A simple thank you or please can transform how others perceive you. Here's the trick. You don't always have to mean it. If you can't genuinely muster kindness, at least fake it convincingly enough to keep the peace. Be careful not to sound sarcastic, though. That would only make things worse. Polite words cost nothing but leave a lasting impression. 4. Ask for things nicely. The world owes you nothing. If you want something, ask for it respectfully. Demanding things rudely only distances people from you. For instance, instead of saying, call Sarah. I need her now. Try. Could you please call Sarah for me? I'd really appreciate it. Thanks. The difference is subtle but impactful. Sweet words can open more doors than harsh commands ever will. 5. Be proud, but not a braggart. Confidence is attractive, but arrogance? Not so much. Celebrate your achievements, but don't rub them in others' faces. For example, if you've accomplished something significant, share your success modestly without belittling others. Remember, nobody likes a braggart. Balance your pride with humility, and you'll win respect instead of resentment. 6. Appreciate others for their hard work. When you're in a leadership role or simply part of a team, it's easy to take credit for a job well done. But to truly stop being a bitch, share the spotlight. Acknowledge and appreciate the contributions of those around you. For instance, if you nailed a project, make sure to highlight the specific efforts of your teammates. This small gesture will make them feel valued and show that you're not all about yourself. 7. You don't have to win every argument. Being right isn't always the most important thing. Your ego might tempt you to prove your point in every argument, but resisting that urge is crucial. Let others have the last word sometimes. It doesn't make you weak. It makes you mature. 
Walking away from unnecessary conflicts not only improves your reputation, but also saves your energy for more meaningful battles. 8. Stop making yourself the focus of every conversation. Not everyone loves you as much as you love yourself. Harsh, but true. People enjoy talking about themselves, so let them. Instead of dominating conversations, ask questions about others and genuinely listen to their responses. When the focus inevitably shifts to you, redirect it back to someone else. This simple tactic makes you more likable and approachable, as it shows you value others' stories. 9. Volunteer. Helping others is a fantastic way to gain perspective on life. Whether it's at your school, workplace, or a local NGO, volunteering exposes you to the struggles of others and highlights how much you've been taking for granted. When you see how much harder life can be for others, your own frustrations and insecurities often shrink in comparison. Plus, volunteering connects you with people and teaches you the value of empathy, a surefire way to soften your edges. 10. Be open to criticism. Criticism stings, but it's also a gift. If people perceive you as a bitch, they probably have valid reasons. Instead of dismissing their opinions, listen with an open mind. Let your ego take a back seat and absorb what they're saying. Use their feedback as a tool to improve yourself. And don't forget to thank them for pointing out areas where you can grow. It's a rare sign of strength and maturity. Final thoughts. Stopping yourself from being a bitch doesn't mean suppressing your personality or becoming a doormat. It's about being self-aware, empathetic, and kind without compromising who you are. By following these 10 tips, you'll not only improve your relationships with others, but also cultivate a happier, healthier mindset for yourself. So, take the first step today. Reassess, adapt, and transform. You've got this. If you enjoyed watching this video, don't forget to like, subscribe, and turn on the notification bell, so you don't miss any new videos. Let us know your thoughts about this video in the comment section down below, and feel free to stay and enjoy it until the end. Also make sure to check out our next highlighted video, and we will see you next time. Thanks for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe.